Okay, so earlier on we said we was on some natural baits and we were on some man-made baits. Just gonna run you through what we're using today on this, uh, well, lake slash feels like a reservoir today. So we've got the two rods out, uh, when we're using different methods. So first of all, I wanted to show you the ground bait mix, which is basically just a bread, simple bread mix. As you can see, really pliable. And in there, because we're looking for tench today, we've got the little particles in there that you can see are hemp. Now, you can buy hemp uh, that isn't cooked and you can take it home and do it as well. If you're lazy, like uh, we are on Tone and Chow, we've gone for this stuff that's already made. As you can see, and it comes in a liquid and you just mix that in with your ground bait. We've added some sweet corn in there as well. And all you do, it gives you a nice big ball. Just mix it up and you can either put that directly on your feeder or, as we've been doing as well, is just find that out loosely into the swim. And that gives you a really nice cluster effect and it really helps the fish come in, uh, hopefully, to get onto your hook bait. Talking about hook baits, um, so we've mentioned the hemp already, that goes into the ground bait. What we've got here is a combination of man-made uh, baits here. These are hookable pop-ups. Great for conditions like this because where it's very weedy, you want the bait to be coming off the surface. So these are good, really cheap, and again, they stay on the hook or onto a herring for a long period of time. Tony at the moment is going for some sweet corn. Uh, this one was, I think, 40p, easy peel tin. If you haven't got a tin opener on you, this is the way to go. I've uh, come foul of that many, many times. And lastly, the pop-ups. Now, I'm using these Solar Bait Perfect pop-ups, uh, which are very good. The chili is what I'm favouring at the moment. Again, these are very, very good, really easy to put onto the bait. And if you get the right ones, you can also come with a liquid as well. So what you can do is actually take the liquid out, take your pellets, put them into a, a tub of such, let them soak. That sucks up all of the uh, moisture and all the flavouring, all the scents. Put that onto your hair rig and fire them out. So that's a combination of baits that we're using today.